With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Today, our question is two spherical conductors A and B of radius R and 2 R respectively are separated by a large distance. Okay. If some charge is given to the both spheres and later they are connected by a conducting wire. So then in equilibrium condition, the ratio of the magnitude of electric field at the surface of sphere A and sphere B is what? Okay. So we are given with four options. We have to choose the correct one. <coughs> so let us understand what our problem is saying. There are two conducting spheres say this is our first sphere and this is our second sphere okay it is given that the radius of the two spheres are small uh, the first sphere having the radius r and the second sphere is having the radius 2r okay this is say r and this is 2R. Suppose we have given some charges to the both spheres. Suppose the first sphere, the sphere A and the sphere B, these are given some charges. Say it is given with charge Q1 and the second sphere is given to the charge Q2 and they are separated through a large distance. Okay. And they are connected through a conducting wire. They are connected through a conducting wire. This is your conducting wire which is connecting the two spheres so as you will connect the both sphere through the wire the electric potential of the two sphere will be same okay after connection electric potential of spheres becomes equal in equilibrium. Some charge transfer from sphere 1 to sphere 2 will take place and in the equilibrium condition the charges will arrange themselves in such a way that the electric potential of the two spheres will be same. Okay. So in that condition, whenever the electric potential is same, so the surface star density comes to be inversely proportional to the radius of the sphere. So we can say that the surface star density of sphere A, that is sigma A upon sigma B is equal to radius of b upon radius of a and radius of b is what it is 2r upon r this implies sigma a upon sigma b is coming to be 2 upon 1 let's say this is our expression one okay so we have to find the electric intensity at the surface of the two spheres and then we have to find the ratio of that two okay so electric intensity at the surface of sphere a is what it is kq charge on a upon radius of a square or we can also express in terms of sigma upon sigma upon epsilon naught sorry the electric intensity at the surface of a charged solid sphere conducting sphere is given by simply sigma upon epsilon naught so we can say electric intensity is proportional to epsilon naught is constant it is permittivity of free space so it is electric intensity is simply proportional to the surface star density right so now we can write the, the ratio of the electric intensity of the two spheres ea upon eb is simply sigma a upon sigma b and we already calculated the ratio of the surface star density of the two spheres so we can write electric intensity at the surface of a upon electric intensity at the surface of b 
is equal to sigma a upon sigma b and we have already evaluated it as 2 upon 1. So this is the ratio of electric intensity at the surface of A to the surface of B. Okay. So let us come for the option which we are given in the question. The electric field at the surface of sphere A and sphere B, the ratio of electric field is what? We have derived it that the ratio of electric field at A and B is coming to be 2 is to 1. So this is our correct option. The fourth option is our correct option. Okay. So I hope you are able to understand the problem. Thank you for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.